All right, so I'm going to make this uh, phone cord. Instead of downloading the model out of our training material, I'm just going to build it from scratch. Part of, part of the geometry uses a, um, a tragedy part variable that uh, is part of the graph, graph feature. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of quickly build the ISDX geometry. Or parametric geometry that the ISDX can tie to. Right click through there to get that uh, geometry there tied. And uh, now I'm going to jump into ISDX. So this is the ISDX icon. This software uh, costs about a $5,000 add-on on top of your base package of, of, of Pro Engineer. So now I'll, I'll build a curve from one geometry to the next. Okay, so that curve just kind of use the shift key to snap on there. I'll take now and double click on that curve. Double clicking on the curve is the same as hitting edit curve. So this, this edit extra $5,000 software is, is pretty handy when it comes to kind of making geometry. At the bottom here, I'm going to make it tangent, ta tangent to the bounding box that I created there. Let's check out of that. And uh, so that, that curve now is an ISDX curve. And uh, I'll take now and sweep myself a surface across this curve. I'm going to go ahead and make it a variable sweep. PTC called this jump, this this uh, the variable section sweep, and uh, they they since renamed it to just the sweep. But uh, now this geometry here is what I'm going to drive uh, with with a graph that 133. See, I'm going to go ahead and uh, check out of that tool. Maybe I'll make it just a little bit less. I'll make it 10 10 long. Okay. Now what I want to do is spin that up. So in order to spin that, I need to be able to uh, use an equation. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and not use a graph. I'm just going to define this with an equation. My name is Ross Stalter, and I'm an industrial designer for GE Healthcare. I found out about Design Engine through my coworkers. Um, since I wanted to learn Creo versus Rhino or SolidWorks and Alias, I wanted to learn Creo to do all my 3D modeling. And I learned some of it on my own, but I wasn't confident in what I learned because I was teaching myself. So I wanted a more um, uh, solid methodology into creating all my surfaces and know that I was doing it correctly and to know further techniques in doing so. Surfacing is important in my work um, because of ergonomics mainly. Um, our machines in healthcare are always being touched and handled from a, from a handle on a machine to a ultrasound probe. Um, it has to fit the hand and be comfortable uh, from 10 minutes of usage to 30 to 45 minutes of usage. Um, the user has to be comfortable at all times. It's really understand the empathy uh, for the user within the design through ergonomics. Um, and also the importance of surfacing is making sure those surfaces flow and are cleanable and also understanding how that surface is interacting with light um, just not to make the machine beautiful but also to understand how it may interact when it goes into production for draft and, and so forth and understanding uh, G2 and G3 continuity of surfaces. My instructor Bart was uh, great, very eccentric guy, outgoing, um, and uses real life experiences and also surfaces to um, address the, the, the model that we're using in class at the given time. Even walking outside to the cars on the street and pointing out um, highlights and uh, light wasping on the vehicles and why the light was acting the way it was. It was it was really great and inf informative. Bart's a little bit of a rarity. Um, sense of humor and eccentric, very outgoing. Um, it brought what could have been a really dull class. It, it made it exciting. It made me want to learn 
uh, the way he teaches the class, which is a huge benefit over some other, other courses. My experience at Design Engine was great. Um, laid back environment, and they're willing to take the time to pause the class and address any, any questions and concerns that you have directly relating to your personal problems rather than just a problem that's designed within the class. Some of the specifics to the class were um, really understanding how surfaces uh, flow and how light dances over the surfaces and the methodology to get to those surfaces that you actually want. Um, building beyond what you see and then cutting down back to what you see is a huge importance and it, it really opened my eyes um, to how, how it's actually created, how the surfaces actually develop through the process. So the process is a key to, to the entire thing. There are a lot of uh, specific techniques that I learned during the class um, and definitely I'd be applying them right away on Monday. Um, and one of them is um, parent-child restraints and also some of the little hidden techniques that might not have been obvious um, while building on the, mon uh, on the uh, models right away. Um, check boxes that are easily overlooked because they're just not distinguished uh, well enough. And Bart really emphasized on digging deeper into the menus and to find those, those um, little hot points that aren't distinguished that well, and then clicking them and practicing with them and seeing and understanding uh, what they actually do is, is very important. I would definitely recommend um, Design Engine to a colleague, colleague or friend. Um, already have done that, <laughs> and um, I, I myself uh, hope to find myself back here in the next coming years to learn more and push my own, own uh, possibilities further. You see it updated, the, the sketch updated, that means it's going to work. And there I've, I've got a, uh, an Acme thread, if you will, a uh, Archimedes screw that I can push grain through or water up a hill. So uh, now what I'm going to do is, uh, is just exercise all this geometry to show you that, that my uh, ISDX geometry can update appropriately. I'm now going to build a sweep on top of this to make the phone cord itself. So that, that's my phone cord and it's a parametric phone cord and better than any phone cord you can do because uh, it, it, it keeps the same number of rungs no matter how long it gets and if you remember as a kid playing with a phone cord or your children play with a phone cord you could stretch it on out. And get, so that, that's, 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 that's a very powerful tool. So uh, ultimately, we just hide this sweep function, and then I've got that geometry left. 